Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red this Tuesday morning. And it's nice and dry. Not so cold today. Wonderful. Matthew chapter 15, verse 9. Jesus speaks to these scribes and he's still giving them an earache. And he says, but in vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines the precepts of men but in vain why why in vain well because there's no sincerity to the reality of the things that they're doing what's the point of doing something if there's no real heart to do it if you're just going through the motions many people's lives are like that just going through the motions i remember hearing someone say help me grow up before i grow old and what he meant was to develop and take hold of life and embrace it with everything that he has before he gets too old to really enjoy it. You know, they say we become wiser as we get older, but actually some people never grow up, so they never become wise. And here Jesus is saying, and in vain do they worship me, meaning there's no point in them going through the motions and pretending to worship me when their hearts are not really in it it's just a fallacy, a deception to themselves. What God is looking for is people who will worship him in spirit and in truth. And that's sincerity. That's they're giving themselves to him with all of they all that they have. And that's what God's about. He's about getting to the heart of the matter in everything he represents. He wants to get to the heart of the matter because He's a real God and he wants reality. He wants to be around reality. He loves reality. He doesn't like deception. And uh, when we're standing up saying to him, oh, I love you, Jesus, I love you, Jesus, and then really living like hell, we're saying to him, we don't really love you, Jesus, because our lives don't reflect the reality of the love that we are saying that we have for you, but our lives are not showing it. Now, what God is wanting from us is the life that shows it so that's why it's in vain they worship me and he says teaching as doctrines the precepts of men really he's saying teaching the ideas of men the thinking of man the values of man the precepts of man the man's considerations as it relates to what is right and good and proper as opposed to what god says is right good and proper you know, there were two trees in the garden, the tree of life and the tree of good and evil. And the tree of good and evil is the tree of uncertainty because it's a tree that sometimes it is right and sometimes it is wrong. But the tree of life is always right. And if we are being fed from the tree of life, that's God, the source of right, then we will be fed with good fruit and therefore bear good fruit because we will represent, as it were, the tree that we belong to. But if we're still belonging to the tree of knowledge of good and evil, then we may well sometimes do good things, true. But there are a lot of times when we'll do bad things. And that reality to choose, as it were, pr prefer to do bad things, although to present what we seem like is good, it's just what Jesus is talking about when he says, uses the word hypocrisy. Will you live your life eating fruit from the tree that bears fruit that's good every time? Or will you live your life eating from the fruit of the tree of life that sometimes bears good fruit, but predominantly bears bad fruit? Brothers and sisters, which fruit are you going to eat from? Jesus is looking for people who will eat from the tree of life to do life God's way. How will you live your life today? Have a great day living it in Jesus' name.